Hey guys, this is Wen from Yuko. I am making a video today because I just picked up an InMotion V8S, which is the upgrade to the InMotion V8 series. The latest one before this was the V8F. This is the V8S and it has a 728 watt hour battery, which is almost 50% bigger than the previous battery from the V8F, which should give it almost 50% more range. Um, the V8 series has been one of my favorite wheels for a long time because of its um, simplicity, its portability. Um, it just works really well. The handle works really well. Um, so I picked one up yesterday and I'm going on a range test. I'm going to ride it from my house here um, on the west side of Las Vegas to Yuko headquarters in Henderson. Um, so it's going to be about uh, 15 or so miles. I already did about five miles today. So let's get on the road and see how far this thing goes. And here is the V8S. You can tell it's different from the V8F series by the orange and motion symbol here. And also you'll notice that the accents are now chrome instead of red. And notice I've added Velcro up here and you guys will like this. This is a nice little surprise. I have my InMotion V11 seat here, and it just happens to fit perfectly on the V8S. And that means it fits on every other V8 series as well. So let me give you guys a shot of me riding this. This is gonna be really useful for my range test. And here's the seat. And now, I'm riding seated on an InMotion V8S. How cool is that? All right, let's get this range test started. We are now at 56% battery and I can no longer hit the top speed of 22 miles an hour. The most it'll let me go before beeping at me is 21 miles an hour. The tilt back starts coming on around 20 miles an hour, but if you push through it, it'll, it'll let you go to 21 miles an hour. We're at about 43% battery now and I am getting the beeps at 20 miles an hour. I'm really impressed. I've been going, I think about 22, 23 miles now. And to go that distance and still be able to ride 20 miles an hour is really good. So we're currently at the 25 mile mark. The battery is at 33% and I'm really starting to notice the beeps because when I'm on the street, I'm usually cruising around 20 miles an hour, 19 miles an hour. And now it's beeping between 19 and 20 miles an hour. So now is the not fun part. The worst part of the range test is trying to get this battery dead and going 19 miles an hour or less. So. I'm at Yuko. I'm just going to do the loop that goes around Yuko until I can get this battery down. I'm 
as low as I can and I'll continue updating you guys on um, the speed throttling. We are just under 29 miles and 24% left on the battery. The top speed right now is right around 19 miles an hour. You can feel the tilt back um, just as you pass 18 miles an hour. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. 19 miles an hour at 29 miles into the ride. That is quite impressive, especially compared to the V8F. Okay, we are at 30 and a half miles, and as you can see, the battery indicator is now blinking, which I don't really know what that means. I think it just means that your battery is super low. Um, the app is reading 17%, um, but it's still letting me go uh, 18 miles an hour. Tilt back comes on around 18. And I can hit just under 19 still before the wheel actually beeps at me. I don't recommend riding close to top speed at um, such low battery. Um, let's just keep pushing it and see how far we can go. All right, and now the wheel is beeping and it is tilting back, indicating that it is probably no longer safe to ride. Let me turn it off and back on. Let's see if we can get it to balance again. Turn it back on. Still tilting backwards, so it looks like this is no longer rideable. Little disappointing. I wish it would have uh, warned me beforehand. Maybe that's what the blinking was about. So that's good to know. Uh, All right, so the range test is done. Let's recap the numbers. I weigh about 180 pounds, and I was cruising around 15 to 16 miles an hour while on the sidewall, and about 20 miles an hour while on the street and the bike lanes. All in all, I was able to hit 31 miles of range at 17% battery remaining. That's not really surprising considering the V8S has a 50% bigger battery than the previous generation, the V8F. So I expected it to have around 30 to 40 miles of range. The biggest benefit of having this extra battery, in my opinion, is that you're able to maintain the top speed for a much longer duration. I was able to hit 22 miles an hour up until around 60% of the battery life. Once it hit 60%, it throttled down to 21 miles an hour and gradually down to 19 miles an hour by the time I hit 17%, the end of our test. 19 miles an hour is still very usable. Sure, it's not 20 miles an hour. It's not the cruising speed that I, I, I'd like, but it really didn't hit 19 miles an hour until around 33% of the battery. So for the first 25 miles of this test, I was able to cruise comfortably at my cruising speed of 20 miles an hour. The Emotion V8S is perfect for riders who value a wheel that is lightweight and nimble, has decent speed and range, and is built on a proven, reliable platform. It still has all the great features from the Emotion V8F, like the huge, comfortable pedals, the customizable LED lighting, and the best-in-class trolley handle. And it fixes everything that was wrong with it. Now you have more range, and you don't really have to deal with the speed throttling anymore. The only thing that I wish InMotion had included was an actual tail light. I mean, come on. This tiny little thing is not a tail light. Look at this. That is not a tail light. InMotion, give us a real tail light, please. Despite the lack of a tail light, this has now earned a place in my heart as my favorite small wheel. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and subscribe and leave us a comment. We want to hear what you think about Yuko and about electric unicycles in this crazy world of electric rideables that we all live in. And if you want to pick up one of these wheels, check out our website at yuko.us in the link below.